what a positive or negative test means. And then on top of it, some of these tests may be used as an objective outcome measure. So performed at eval, see if it's positive or negative. Perform later on after treatment to see if it's positive or negative and if it's changed. So there are some cases where you will have to perform these tests. Before translation? No, <laughs> no, but not until then. But right now, I want, what you're going to jot down is what the test is testing for. Okay, so I'm going to show you the anterior drawer first, and then you're going to hypothesize what it's testing for. So I'm stabilizing uh, the tibia and fibula con coming underneath the calcaneus, and I'm going to pull it anterior. She's good. She doesn't have any motion. But I bet if I did this on Rebecca, Tina, maybe even Yuri, they'd have a lot more motion. Is that because they had injuries with you? Yeah, what injuries yeah. did they have? Ankle sprain. Ankle sprain. Ankle sprain. Oh, yeah, ankle sprain. Yeah, on my leg. I'm going to know all of you inside and out, all your injuries. Okay, so I'm trying to essentially pull the calcaneus, which then with it, the talus, anterior. So what am I stressing? What am I putting on stretch? The ligaments. The ligaments. Attaching from here to here. Okay, and if I pull anterior, I'm really focusing more on the anterior ligaments. It'll stretch the posterior ones as well, but remember which ones are most commonly sprained. Lateral. Anterior talofibular and calcaneofibular. Okay, so I actually could change the angle in which way I'm pulling and to uh, differentiate between different ligaments. But anterior drawer is here, and then you anterior translate the calcaneus and talus. Okay, and so it's testing for ligament laxity. Is that just telling you that there's instability or not? Instability or not. Yeah, it couldn't confirm, it couldn't completely confirm whether or not